Ladies and gentlemen, your following contest is bout number seven on the card, and this one is brought to you by Punish Fight Gear. Three by three minute rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Brandon Barisic out of the Fight World Gym, an official weight of 60.8 kilograms. 400 fights, 350 wins and five draws, 50 coming by way of knockout, fighting out of Thailand by way of the Gold Coast, Orono Polonau. And across the ring is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Mark Pease and the team out of the Strike Force gym with an official weight of 61 kilograms, 39 fights, 18 wins, four draws, two coming by way of knockout, fighting out of the Gold Coast, ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Pappas! Both fighters wide through Ramoy with the action being injured, man in charge, Mr. Trevor Lawler. Having a look at the tail of the tape for what will no doubt be an entertaining battle. Another one on this eruption card. Daddy Cool, Andy the Pappas, 25 years of age, 39 fights, 18 wins. But the man everyone's talking about, Oranor there, who of course is uh, one of your old trainers, 34 years of age, 400 fights. That is not a typo. That is actually 400 yeah. fights, Daddy Cool. No, Tell us a little bit about Oranor real quickly. Yeah, definitely. I, I spent a lot of time with him in Thailand at Eminem Air Gym. Uh, he's a training partner of mine for years. Very, very rugged fighter fought at the top level in Thailand for many years. Channel 7, uh, Lumpini, Rajaranum, all of them, he's, uh, he's definitely the real deal. A very, very strong fighter. Um, big ask for, for Pappas, but Pappas' hands could prove uh, a little bit daunting for Oranoi. He's got a chin like a granite bench, but um, at the end of the day, he can set up a lot of stuff. Still scoring. Yeah. Yep. On his special prices. John Devicoli mentioned this fight sponsored by Punish Fight Gear. Big thank you to Nick and the team getting right behind the eruption. Greatest uh, fight equipment, Punish. Nice jab from Anthony Pappas. Chopping low kick from Oranor. You know, want to start strong, Pappas. He, he won't want to give someone with 400 fights time to think. Warm up. It's got to be a sprint, this one. It is a three-round fight, three threes. First of three happening right now. Jab chopping low kick, or not. His body's been well-conditioned, 400-fight veteran. Turning got Anthony Pappas out of the red corner. He's been fighting since he's eight years old. So, uh, again, another young gun from Queensland. Not scared to take on anyone either, Pappas. We've seen him war for many, many years. He's 61 kilo division, this one. We're looking for that left hook. It's a nice high guard from the Australian in the red corner. So you see him trying to get some combos of his own. He's got good power, Pappas, when he can find the punch. Nice catch and counter. Clinch up. Try to slide that elbow through Oranel. Yeah, this is... Not a safe position for Pappas. He's very strong. 
in the clinch corner up. Peppers. Violent with these elbows. Yeah, Peppers from uh, Strike Force Gym on the Gold Coast. As we mentioned earlier, Mark Pease on assignment with Chad Collins at the moment. But nevertheless, Peppers here to do the business. Turn on or now based out of Helen's Vale, Queensland, formerly from Thailand, of course. My kick there from the tight. Just worn on the guard from Pappas. It's interesting to see. Now we're looking at the fight strategy here as opposed to the fight previous, Daddy Cool, where, you know, we had uh, all the unorthodox yeah, moves. I think, I think Ornor's oh, just caught him with the right, right hand. hand. Yeah, Pappas is a little bit dazed there. He sat back, and this is very dangerous times here. He needs to lock on. Pappas, he seems to get his bearings back. Nice leg guard there. Oh, oh. Trevor Lawler gets a takedown of his own. Tell you what, this one, one arm takedown, Trevor Lawler. I'll score him highly for that. Having none of it. Having none of it. Absolutely none of it. Oh, season. push kick. Beautifully done, Ornor. Again, this, that, that methodical pace. Yeah, and, he's, uh, and, this, and this one, you know, the traditional tie fight. As opposed to what we saw from Quinton, the Hitman Smith, he was all over the, you know, all over it. Different moves all over the place, different angles. It was entertaining. This one's now just a backward and forward arm wrestle, a game of strategy, a game of chess. Who's going to pull out the winning move at this point? You'd have to say Oren or slightly ahead, Daddy Cool. Yeah, he, he was finding that right hand and uh, and caught Pappas. Uh, caught him off guard. It just couldn't buy enough pressure on him. But um, he's definitely stunned there, Pappas. He'll, he'll have to keep that left hand up, but he's been looking good. I think if he ups the ante, ups the tempo a little bit. More mobility, more tempo from Pappas. If I was in his corner, that's what I'd be telling him to do. Move more, hit and move, rather than stand in front and play that timing game because the 400 fight veteran is going to have beautiful timing yeah, every day of the week. Definitely, he's um, he's very, very smart fighter. Very, very tough customer, so Pappas needs to uh, get on his bike, try to ruffle his feathers, try to make him stop thinking his own game. Fakes, goes to the body, one to all clubbing right hand or not. It's a right hand and he's liking that right hand, the tight. Timing it very well as he's after he kicks, as we see him come back with his own kick there. We're interested to see how Oranor goes in this one, of course. He's scheduled to fight River Daz on October 1st on the Warriors' Way event in Melbourne. That's going to be an interesting battle. Oranor and River Daz. It'll be a boxing one, that one. Uh, that'll uh, put a difference into it. But nice step through knee to the ribs from Oranor. Yeah, got a good takedown prior, tried to keep him off guard. Pappas just applying pressure, keeping his opponent on the ropes. Look for, for, you can see him looking for that elbow to come over the lead with that elbow there as they sit down in the clinch, keep their vertical base strong. Oranor just uh, doing what he has to and ultimately counterfighting, I suppose. He's waiting to see what Pappas brings and then uh, looking to make him pay potentially for a mistake. Yeah. Up kick, push kick, smile, puts a chin down, goes bombing with the hands or not. Pappas comes forward. Yeah, great timing with his push kick there or not. Just upsetting Pappas. Big low kick or not in return. Stiff jab, one, two, three. Fast hands, Pappas. Doesn't face or on a push kick up to the chest that time. Switches out, looks to roll that right hand over the top or not. Oh, chin up a little bit high and Pappas caught him with a hook there. Or no body kick. Straight on the Pappas, knees to the body, shuts the clinch down, locks it down. Lola will bring him back to center ring and keep him active. Nice 
nice chess game, this one. Hammer coming to the end of the second round. Oh, look, nice uh, hard leg check. Have a look at the, look at the calves on him. Years of road work and skipping in the making of those calves. Very, very hard train, uh, trainer, Ronald. Always 100% effort uh, when he's training. So he will get himself very fit for this. 34 years of age. Still in that peak condition, Orono. It's a big scalp if Pappas can uh, take him out. Locking into the clinch. Short knees. Orono controlling that clinch exchange nicely. But Anthony Pappas certainly still in the fight. Daddy Cool, how are you seeing it? Yeah, I think um, I think he's, his tie opponent's edge just ahead of points as we see great beautiful takedown from Orono in this second round here. Just very calm. Tries for that up kick on the way in. <laughs> Both boys <laughs> just have a laugh about it, but he's, he's calmer. He's scoring good shots when he cl clinches on here. He locks it up, blocks his knee. Very, very sharp technique here from the tie. Mark of experience, Orono. Not racing anything, just methodical in his execution. Pappas trying to work out the puzzle that is Orono in this fight. Third and final round coming up. Needs a big round, this one, Daddy Cool. Yeah, he's been he's been finding some, a bit of luck with those hands. I said earlier, he's got a chin like a grain of bench or an all, but in the clinch, he's very strong, as we're seeing here. He's charging forward, good balance when he tries to take him down. This is where the tie is very strong, and those knees are very sharp, so out of range is where... I'd be telling Pappas to, to be in this last round. So we see those big knees. Just strong. Vertical base is as strong as a light pole. And Just it's doesn't huge, move. Big huge knees. Huge. Or and again, just relentless. He just, he just chambers his hips beautifully out and in and powers forward, just smashing at the body of Anthony Pappas. Pappas. I'm surprised he's getting into as many clinch exchanges with Orono. I would have thought he would have been working a lot more from the outside, especially with the hands. Although in the bio, Orono lists his favourite technique now as punching. He goes, used to be knees, but now his favourite weapon is punching. <laughs> so uh, that's an interesting uh, turn of strategy from Orono. Beautiful push kick to the jab, maintaining range. Pappas, side kick, step through of his own. Jab, one, two. Trying to change levels. Orono dances out of way. Push kick again from Orono. Skip up push kick, Pappas. Beautifully done. Yeah, and you can see his tie opponent. Jab He's running out of pepper here. So the pressure's coming from Pappas, but he's got a he's got a bit of time left, but not much hammer. No, this is where I think Pappas should come in, blast away, and then step out. Rather than coming in and getting to that clinch exchange, having it all shut down and uh, somewhat negated. Pappas needs to bounce in and out. Throw, move out. Reset, you let the hands go. But uh, getting into that clinch exchange, or not, keeping Pappas on the outside. Push kick oh. for push kick. Nice Catches him with a hook. Hook. Just bounces back to his feet. Pappas happy about it. Or yeah. laughing at him. They're gonna Both go boys. bombing now. Pappas thinks he can get it. That's what I was saying, Daddy yeah. Cool. Pappas should be working from the outside. He's rather than getting to those negating clinch exchanges. Yeah, he's gotta put the pressure on now. Caught him with the cheeky one. See, that's, there's a classic example of punching into the clinch. you got to punch and then step back. Give yourself room to blast away with the hands again. Now, Orono keeping it smart, keeping it clever, smashing the body with the knees. And then locking it up beautifully. Locking it up and not letting those punches work. So Pappas needs to bounce out off the punches rather than step into the clinch. Bang, catch. And tries to roll that right hand through. Good work. Ooh. Jumping knee, Pappas. Beautifully done. One for the highlight reel. Sets up again. There it is. Wow, we what a third round finisher. 
You'd have to say that one, the third round, you're going to give it to Pappas. How did you see the previous two, though, Daddy Cool? That's going to be the question. Yeah, I, I, um, I'm just going to edge the way of the tie. I think he did enough. When he was under pressure, you know, the skills, he sat on the ropes, used his push kick well. As we see in the final replay here, sits on the ropes, push kick well. Yeah, beautifully Hands down, done. moves away, gets caught with the left hook. The left hook just tried to, And that's, that's where it was always going to be dangerous, and that would have been the, the area that I would have liked to see Pappas keep working at. Look at that. It was pretty much off his hip, that hook, too. Yeah. Pappas just, just fired it. That's testament to his, the power of his punches. Just didn't get the iron or didn't let him have the opportunity to let too many of them fly. It was just in the third that he got that good one away. How are the judges going to score this one? Uh, will they agree with Daddy Call? Potentially, I think the first two rounds could be uh, to Oranor, but it's a close one, whatever way you cut it. Over now to John De McCauley to let us know how it went down. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. Your first judge scored the contest in favour of the red corner. Your second judge scored the contest in favour of the blue corner. Your third and deciding judge scored the contest and your winner via split points decision. Blue corner, Harina Pablam now. It was always going to be a close one, Daddy Cool. Arnold getting the win. We look forward to seeing him in Melbourne on October 1st. Boxing it out with River Daz on Warriors Way. So uh, keep up with the socials on that. Follow myself, Mark Hammer Castellini, your daddy cool on the socials as well. Sometimes with a little, little bit of information slip that look, could be interesting, daddy cool. <laughs> I'm waiting for your interesting information soon. <laughs> all in all, winners, winners are grinners. Good win for him here at the Eruption Stadium.